Hello and welcome to Shapiro Industries. Today we're going to be making a foam axe. So you want to start off with your template and this is a template I just made out of paper and then you have your wooden dowel which is going to be what stiffens the axe and you want to sketch your template onto the floor mat craft foam. I'll put a link for the floor mats that I used in the description. I got them off of Amazon and they're pretty cheap so I just figured buy them. And then you're going to want to cut them out using a box cutter and X-Acto knife and make several shallow cuts. It'll just provide you a better track to cut all the way through the foam because this is fairly thick foam. It's like one centimeter thick. So make several cuts and try to sharpen your blade in between each cut because otherwise you'll get pretty jaggy line. So now that we have two of the axe, we're going to cut a channel for the wooden dowel to go in. So we're just going to sketch where we want the channel to go. And then we're going to carve it out using a craft knife. And you might want to cut at an angle. It'll be easier to kind of get that channel. So once you have cut it out, what you're going to do is you're going to glue in the wooden dowel. Now I used hot glue. Other people use other things, but really use any glue that can partially fill up the gaps of the channel. That's what would work best. And then you could smooth out any like bubble up areas with just another piece of foam. And then once you glue the dowel in, you're gonna glue the two pieces of foam together. You just wanna make your way slowly up the ax, making sure to flatten out each piece and there's not too much of like glue spitting out the edges because you want a nice solid seam and if this happened you could just kind of like scrape it off now we're gonna be beveling all the edges this is gonna allow the axe to have more of a wooden handle look as well as for the blade of the axe to look sharp so we're just cutting at about a 45 degree angle along the majority of the handle on both sides. And it is fairly jaggedy right now, but we're going to be smoothing it out with some sandpaper and a bit Dremel. So no need to worry about that. And this is where you can really just kind of go at it. I mean, it doesn't really matter how you do it because it will look good in the final product. Just make sure that you don't cut deep enough to where you cut into the wooden dowel because then you'll have kind of a hole. And then when you're cutting the edge, try to cut like maybe an inch or inch and a half from the edge, if that makes sense. You don't want to go too far up the ax blade but you don't want to be too shallow and here we're just cutting off any excess foam that didn't line up quite properly when we glued it together now this is somewhat difficult when we use hot glue as compared to using like contact cement but I just decided to use hot glue because it would be faster So here is the axe in daylight, you can kind of see all of the bevels that we worked on over the night. And always use safety equipment, I'm going to be wearing a mask and safety goggles for when you're using a sander, or a Dremel in this case, and we're going to be doing a ton of sanding. It kind of took a lot to get this handle to where I wanted it to be, but just take it slow because a Dremel working at high speed can take off a lot of material, especially if you have a really low grit sanding wheel. And as you can see here, it could take off a lot of material, so you just want to take it slowly and make sure that you don't take off too much. Now this axe is for a school project, 
which is why I'm kind of making it out of foam. That way if I like hit it against something, it's not gonna break and it's not gonna be super damaging. It's for my theater class, so I'm really like making a whole skit and stuff. So I'm gonna be making this ax. I'm gonna be making a couple other weapons made out of foam for the skit. And yeah, you just wanna sand down all the parts, really smoothen everything out, and you'll have a really good finished product. So now we're gonna be carving the wood grain into the handle. So you just wanna go for really long cuts, but make sure that you have a sharp blade, otherwise you'll get like little tears in the wood grain. And that's not entirely bad because it does kind of make it look more natural look like a tree but the longer grooves is really what we're going to look for and now what we're going to do is use a heat gun to shrink the foam and that will open up all of the grooves and really expose kind of like the raised grain look and do be careful if you use a heat gun because it does melt stuff And be careful if you use hot glue because it can loosen up some of the hot glue. Also be careful on what surface you are working on because my like cutting mat actually started to warp because of the heat. So this is a finished product after we've heated it all the way. And also if you heat up the edge, it'll make it look smoother. So now what we're just doing is we're gonna fill all the seams with hot glue, like anything that left a gap, just kind of fill it in. This is a close up of the wood grain. We also glued that piece on the top as kind of like the cap from the design prior and we filled in all the seams so that when we paint it, it'll look more uniform. And now we're just going to prime it. Now you're not going to see much of a color change because this is just gray primer, but it allows for the entire axe to have kind of a base coat, especially since we're going to be painting this by hand. We want a good base coat for it. And once it's dry, you can start adding paint to it. So this is a metallic silver that I'm adding to the top of the axe, the blade part, I guess. And you just want to make sure that all of the brush strokes are kind of going the same direction. So when you're applying like your first layer, it doesn't really matter. But before it dries, you kind of want to just make sure that all the brush strokes are going in the same direction. So you have a nice uniform color. Now when this dries, it's going to look very shiny and we're going to be weathering it later on. But first we have to paint the handle. And for the handle, I'm just using a combination of brown and a little bit of red. And we're just gonna deliberately apply it to the handle, making sure not to completely fill the grooves because we still want the grooves to be shown. But just even coverage on it. And we're also gonna be painting the top part, like right above the ax head. And now we're gonna be weathering it. So that's just a little bit of black acrylic paint mixed with some water and we're going to be brushing it all over the handle and then we're going to also be brushing it on the axe head which will darken it and kind of get rid of that shininess now some people use like shoe polish for this but i don't find it completely necessary because i feel like black paint kind of gets the job done either way especially for the skit that i'm doing i'm going to be in a forest so the dirtier the axe, the better. It'll just make it look more realistic and give it more character. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like share and comment on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content and if you want to see more, please comment what you would like to see me build next.
In the future, I'm going to be making more of these foam axes, and I'm probably going to be doing another video on where I make some other prop that I need for this school project. So, in that video, I will show you how I build whatever that prop is, and then show the rest of these axes, and show them in action. Yes, that means some axe throwing, potentially. So, stay tuned for that video. Also, I'm going to be starting a series where I'm going to be building props and the costume for Taskmaster, because the Black Widow movie is coming out early May, so I want to be ready for it, so I'm going to be making a Taskmaster costume with some functional props and stuff, so stay tuned for that. If you guys like what I'm doing here, please comment on the video, like the video, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out my other videos. I make a cardboard and wood switchblade, which is also another theater prop, so I will link the playlist up there if you want to check that out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.